Hello, I'm Hossein Nurikha and today I will talk about Arabic, Persian, text justification and overview. This is the list of contents that I want to talk about today. After a short self-introduction, I will talk about typographic alignment and then go to the justified text focusing on Arabic and Persian. Then I will talk about different approaches to text justification. Then, in the end, problems and fixes are discussed. I'm Hossein Nurekha, PhD in Information Technology. I am the Developer Community Architect for the Document Foundation, TDF. I am a developer, university lecturer, and FOSS advocate. If you want to get started in LibreOffice development, you can contact me via email, Hossein at signedeprofits.org or via IRC, I'm with the name of Hossein at Libreoffice Dev Room in Libra Chat Network. So, first, typographic alignment. As you know, there are different alignments that are available in typesetting software. Left, which is very common in left to right languages. But in right to left languages like Persian and Arabic and Urdu, uh, this is not usually uh, something very common. But right alignment is something that is usually used. Center is something with limited applications. So another one is the justified text. So in Western languages, they usually use space to uh, make lines larger, to fill the space that is designed for them. But in Arabic script, uh, we have a special character or special element that is called Keshida, which is uh, essentially a horizontal uh, line. and as you can see on the top in uh, Microsoft Word, there are different options to use uh, Justify for the paragraph. So you can use Justify, Justify low, medium, or high. And only in uh, the first one, Cache Day is used. But in LibreOffice, we don't have the three others that only use space to justify the paragraph. So this can cause problems. For example, in Urdu, uh, you're using Nastali phones, and in Nastali, the Kashida is something else. Not, I mean, it's not uh, a horizontal line. So we have several tricks to justify the paragraphs uh, in Arabic and Persian. But uh, in typesetting, we can only use the horizontal line. So. If you use justify for uh, Urdu in uh, Nastaliq font or uh, Iran Nastaliq, uh, you will see uh, unwanted horizontal lines, and this is a problem. But in Arabic and Persian with other fonts, uh, if the Keshida is positioned correctly, everything will be all right. So let's look at some of the ancient text, uh, some of the old uh, text uh, from Quran, uh, which is available in uh, some museums, and you can see the links to the uh, actual uh, website that I have taken these uh, examples. So the above is from first century, uh, and uh, it's quite old, but as you can see, the uh, justified text is used. So this one is from 11th century, uh, and is currently in British Museum. And as you can see, the text is justified, but some parts of the text goes beyond the uh, paragraph and beyond the edges. So this is something that can be seen in. Uh, some of the computer fonts, and I want to, I, w I don't want to <laughs> get more into details. 
This one is also from a 10th century Quran. So as you can see, <laughs> this is also justified. So this is uh, not Arabic script, but Kufi script. But as you can see, this is something that the uh, writers at the time were using. And this one is uh, from 12th century, which is available in Reza Abbasi Museum. So this is something that is more similar to what we have in uh, computer-generated printed media today. So there, there are keshidas there, but there are also other tricks to increase the size of lines. So essentially, what you see here uh, is justified uh, text justified paragraph. So essentially uh, you should uh, increase the uh, length of each line to fill the uh, size that is uh, fill the space that is designed for the paragraph. So as you can see essentially all the lines have the same length with some, expect, uh, some exceptions that uh, for example the um, end of some character goes beyond the edges so this is something else and it, it is usually done in uh, calligraphy so in modern typography things are somehow different so um, if we talk about modern typography uh, other than computer before the before that we had hot metal type setting, for example, linotype or things like that. So uh, it is uh, very uh, nice that even without computers, they will uh, using some mechanical uh, tools to achieve justified text. For example, they used special triangles that filled the line and they uh, put pressure on the top and uh, the um, spacers actually uh, filled the space and made the paragraph justified. But in computer software, uh, things are somehow different. When computer uh, software uh, came into uh, the uh, typesetting, the problem of uh, justifying the text and uh, beyond that, breaking the paragraphs into lines became actually an optimization problem. So uh, in a software, you try to achieve the best line break by trying to optimize some parameters, including uh, uh, the uh, parameters that are discussed here. For example, the number of characters and the number of words that you see in each line. So you try to put more text into each line and try to uh, fill the lines and try uh, you, you try to avoid uh, lines with for example one two three characters inside that also uh, for the languages that use hyphenation you try to uh, use less hyphens for example <laughs> you can go on and break several words into two parts and put hyphens there but that is something that is undesirable so you're trying to use less hyphens and then orphans uh, so you should avoid uh, small paragraphs and small lines uh, you should avoid uh, a blank page with only uh, one or two words inside that. So, mm, having all these constraints in mind, you should try to optimize. And it is shown that this is an NP complete problem. So, there, there are solutions that are practical and we will discuss later. So, these are the approaches to text justification. So, um, these are some of the well-known well-known algorithms for text justification. Uh, the most famous uh, algorithm, algorithm that we know is from Camus and Plus that they provided in their article. 
and then implement it in uh, the uh, tech type setting system. So uh, their algorithm actually works on the document as a whole. So usually it is said that the output from tech is mm, something that is very desirable and very nice uh, to the eyes of the readers. So they, they have tried to achieve the optimal solution or near optimal solution. Uh, but in LibreOffice and Microsoft Word before 2013, the WordPerfect 6.x uh, compatibility is uh, maintained. So in LibreOffice, uh, the algorithm is uh, working uh, on line by line basis. And uh, other than that, I should say that in Word 2013, uh, the a new algorithm is introduced that can shrink and as well expand and uh, it actually break, uh, broke the compatibility with the WordPerfect 6.x so this is not yet implemented in LibreOffice if you want to get more information uh, I think you should you can uh, refer to these two issues that discuss the uh, justification algorithm and uh, there are problems in the current LibreOffice approach. So the uh, problem that uh, optimization is uh, done locally and uh, line by line basis is uh, preventing LibreOffice to achieve an optimal solution. Also, as I said, this is not compatible with Microsoft Word 2013 plus. So, uh, other than that, uh, if you look closely into the implementation, the code for justification is scattered among different modules, both the VCL and also the writer. So, in this way, it is difficult to debug uh, fix problems and improve the implementation so other than that if you refer to the uh, issue 104921 which is actually fixed now uh, the position of Keshida is not communicated explicitly between VCL and writer so this is something that is uh, fixed now by the patches from Khaled Hosni. So let's uh, look at some of the problems and the fixes. So one of the main problems with Keshid in Arabic uh, in LibreOffice was that uh, in certain situations the Keshida was not inserted correctly so this uh, horizontal line when placed incorrectly can cause gaps and bad overlaps so as you can see the characters here should be joined together but because the horizontal line is placed incorrectly in the wrong position the output is not okay and this actually caused a lot of problems for the people who use Arabic, Persian or do another Arabic script languages. Uh, the gaps or the bad black lines was uh, not there in OpenOffice uh, but at some point uh, this problem happened in OpenOffice so this was a regression and after that, it was fixed once, but then in LibreOffice 5.3, uh, a big change uh, came, and halfwise is used after that version as the underlying text rendering engine. So the justified problem came back, and <laughs> it was there for around 10 years. But now. Uh, it is actually fixed by Khaled Hosni and I thank him for doing this great job. So this problem was one of the frequently asked 
uh, problems that uh, people from Persian and Arabic and uh, Arabic script language community ask to fix. So this is fixed now and the fix uh, will be available in the next uh, measure version which is LibreOffice 7.5 so I try to avoid this problem in the future and to do that uh, to make sure that this won't happen again uh, I have added a test for that and essentially in that test I check the exact position of characters including the normal characters and also diacritics so uh, the idea behind this test is that um, certain characters should join but not too much so for example uh, if it's uh, if those characters are joined for example with 20% uh, overlap this is not acceptable for example 10% or something like that is accepted so uh, in order to make sure that uh, the test uh, actually uh, goes fine on different platforms uh, the actual font uh, that is used is uh, something constant the uh, this make sure is, uh, helps us make sure that the test uh, goes fine on different platforms but I think we need more tests to make sure that the problem with justified text doesn't happen again so there are remaining problems and uh, one of them is a glitch that happens only in certain zoom levels like 100% which is only reproducible on Windows in certain conditions this is filed uh, in TDF Bugzilla and we need to test more to make sure that this uh, happens to understand uh, when this happens and try to fix that another problem is with mixing RTL and LTR text which is probably caused by bad footnotes so as you can see the LTR and RTL text are mixed uh, or and uh, they are entangled so this is not okay uh, also there are problems with character joining as you can see there are small gaps uh, in the text and this is actually visible in certain zoom levels like 100% but the text is much smaller than you can see here and I've zoomed in to show the problem uh, another problem that uh, I should mention is that uh, by not having uh, justified uh, paragraphs that uh, are justified only using the space uh, justify low, high, medium uh, we have problems with Urdu and other nastalic uh, font text so this is another problem that we have so in the end uh, I should uh, thank very specially for the kind developer who fixed all these problems and is Khaled Hosni so thank you Khaled, thank you for uh, making users happy and making uh, their life easier thank you very much so time for questions uh, you can ask uh, questions and I will be happy to be able to answer your questions thank you very much